Here we are folks and it's Beano Block and coming to you with the latest data and I'm going to show you a quake that was basically registered in as an 8.5 and now there's a bunch more of them that did and I'm just going to tell you straight up you know I'm honest and it doesn't it shows the 25 kilometers deep right here on these two but Vancouver Island came in at an 8.5 quake when it originally was put up okay and they took it down but this originally read 8.5 whatever they end up changing it to it doesn't really matter because you got a 7.1 7.1 but they don't show the depths on them okay they're being honest about these readings these are all reported readings okay now I'm gonna to go to over to other agencies you got this one at 10 kilometers deep but I'm telling you right now I seen this and didn't get a snapshot of it fast enough and I'm actually gonna take a snapshot right now of all this action because we have had a huge quake and we will see about what we've got for uh, I've got to wait to get this basically locked in and I'll be right back but we've had these big quakes and they just keep what I just get mad about it actually scientifically is when now this thing automatically refreshes so I see that's why I hurried up and took a snapshot but there's a bunch of quakes going on too Italy started in with a 3.0 as we originally had and then this other stuff gets in delayed but we have had these massive quakes over here and I'll take you to the deal that I haven't checked over yet either I mean I haven't raced it and it'll come around here in a second. And here as it rotates around, I'll try to get it to come around. I don't want to fight it. There it is. 7.1 they're showing. But now I'm going to go to RSOE. And I got RSOE here. And basically they came up with the 7.1 right next to each other. And if you get the information there, they got Prince Rupert. And then whatever I originally had. And also then we got another one ringing out now all of a sudden since I came here too. Just recently, they had that. Th this Montana one was there, though, 3.5. And then it looks like the West Coast area is getting rocked because there's a fresh one down here. But I, I'm already sure that it'll probably be a little bit lighter. But we get a 1.4, yeah, a small one. But that's a fresh one, just a light, probably just an aftershock of what we've had from what we've got going on there in Montana. And what it basically was is I'm pretty sure Victoria Island is probably that island. I'm not positive. But that's Prince Rupert Island. I think Victoria Island's probably smaller and a little bit farther south. Not showing up on this map. Okay. But that's what we got from those locations. As you see they're in red. Normally they're just the these quakes like this. That's basically another quake here in BC. But as you see they're only 2.2. I'm not even paying attention to the time. So that's what we got going on, and as you can see, when you have to zoom in, you can see that this is always rising here, okay? Another shelf, okay? And then basically right there, so they have split action going on up there. Uh, this is the one that doesn't show. I guess there's not really a fault line on these ones. I thought this thing usually normally shows me the fault lines. It's not showing the fault lines right now. Oh, that's in telecast that I think shows it to me. No, it usually is this. Then yeah, they ain't got the fault lines on there right now. And then we got miles to just show you this the storm we got going on. They say 148 kilometers an hour. I'll have to go to the telecast see what we got there. But we have a 7.1 for sure. Two of them right next to each other that are showing on it. And like I say, the actual factual. So 7.7 .7 here. It'd be interesting to see who in sh in Seattle felt whatever or Vancouver because we got differentiations on reports okay because they're showing that I'm gonna click I used to be able to click on this and I'll be able to see if we got any kind of a tsunami report on this let's go with tsunami report and we just go to Alaska tsunami uh, we'll go to Pacific warning and see what they say on that here we go let's we'll see if they got it listed they should have it listed and here we go we got one event one Here's your summary. So there's no warning statement. It's kind of useless to go to the statement because basically they'll just basic. I'll get to show it real fast, but they'll have something about has occurred with the preliminary report. The statement is information only. No action required. Okay. Value of specific wide tsunami. There is no tsunami threat to Hawaii, and that's what I was interested in. Is Hawaii, and we'll just click and see what it shows now. And now there's a 5.8 aftershock. So basically we take this down. And there's your 7.7 .7 now showing up on also on the map. And the 3.5 there in 
Yellowstone. Give you guys an idea of what everything's going on here. We'll go ahead and go Earth to light it up. So we've got a 7.7. .7. And as you see now, they're not showing us like it looked like it to me. I thought it was a 7.1 now. Maybe I just got over anxious on 7.1, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was showing 7.1 before. So it was 7.7 .7 because basically what they're doing is they took the ticks off of that 8.5 that I originally saw. And I just didn't get a chance to snip it fast enough, folks, and I apologize, but it did. It recorded 8.5, and let me go back to showing you where it reported that 8.5 at. Okay, and Italy had a 3.0 right away after this, too, and you'll see that from this data that I'll take you to, and I'll stretch this out a little bit. We'll see what's recently been going on, but everything's pretty much been away. But then there we go. That's a big 7.1 quake. 7.7, 8.5, if you see Queen Charlotte Island skits that 5.8 again coming up there. And Queen Charlotte Island's there, 8.1 earthquake. They got the 7.7, .7, which is weird because the idea that you see that it's 8.1 and it's at 43 kilometers deep. Let me take you up to the top so you see what I'm talking about because there's your kilometers deep it is, depth kilometers okay just refreshed again so there's nothing I can do about that it's going to do that little jump and it's got more places that are having quakes and then they'll end up getting the data put in later then what it does is they those re, they the graph will the mag metrometer will basically I call them and it's got a little bit misquoting how it's actually said but the idea that it'll call up as soon as that quake hits okay but then some of these are hitting and it's just not being registered right away and they're sitting there reading it and going well we got this and we got that and then so you got all this up in the BC area off the coast okay British Columbia and like I showed you on the map a little earlier they had a little bit of quake earlier and this see the other app we had a lot of fours and fives going on in the ring of fire okay Philippines been getting hit and let me take you to in Calcast and show you all this weather that's going on around the world and uh, just take it down through this first line. So we had a lot of five points. Something's going on. And I apologize for the advertisements right now, folks. We'll see if I can get the zoom up here so we can get a little bit more of just the, what we were interested in looking at. We'll go left here, get away from the advertisements a little bit, and see what we're really after. 7.7, 7.7. Okay. So Queen Charlotte Islands, that's pretty much why the USGS pretty much turned around and had to report what they had to report. 7.1, and there's one way under there. I wonder if I get lucky enough that we end up finding it. Well, all I know is I'm just telling you straight up that I've seen an 8.5 magnitude quake on Vancouver Island. Then we got Montana. We'll see what they show of Montana being at 3.5. And then we've seen this earlier. I've seen that earlier today, the 2.3 and stuff they had earlier. California didn't get anything there from this. So this is, that's some pretty good plate separation up there high. Okay. And there was the Nevada here recently too. I thought I had a quake showed up on, yeah, I showed you on a little bit earlier on the other map, I think. So there's a little fire down in Louisiana still. I hope that's not at the sinkhole or close to the sinkhole. So there is a dangerous sinkhole down there, folks. It likes rads. I'll give you a little update on the hurricane here. It'll plop in in time. Pretty much 90 mile an hour wind right now on it. And I want to go over and show you the one that's hitting Vietnam and stuff like that. Got a quake there. The Virgin Island area, Puerto Rico area. And I'm not having any fun here, but I'm not going to have time to do much editing here. Just hurry up and throw this out, get this on the net. So. 90 mile an hour win, and I scoot it up a little bit more. Can I still grab it and get it? 75, and, and it should be another 90 mile an hour gust, still the same. So, we'll look over to the Pacific here. And we'll see what else we got. Cruise out past the lotions, pollutions. And.
Philippines had a 5.3 too earlier. Been wondering about that. And then we need to go to the storm that's over there. And looks like another Indian earthquake. And there you go. And basically this thing has had like 150 mile an hour gusts. As you can see there, 150 mile an hour gusts, 120 mile continuous wind, 125 mile per hour, and 155 mile an hour. That's called, they call it uh, Typhoon 24W. Let me get this up here a little bit, and there's the current on that. And then we got the East Coast one, 115 mile an hour maximum winds. And what kind of gusts are we getting? Can it to get it to show in? Here's an honest shot, folks. We've got a storm with 145 mile an hour wind right now. It's been up to 155. 115 maximum winds. Gusts are up to 145. And then look at all the fires and all the, the uh, there's volcanoes in these areas too. And then these are all earthquakes, okay? And then we show you the big stuff already to start off with, but basically we're making me to make the video by just showing you what, what the wildness of our earth action, fires, all kinds of quakes. This is all up to date stuff. Okay, so, and oh, Hawaii had one. So 79 degrees and basically a quake of 1.8 recently. And those are all the quakes today. Come in here and refresh and see what we got for new action. And that 5.8 looks like it's staying there for right now. And remember, they're 7.7. .7, that's what this big ring is. Now, our solar wind had picked up a little bit. Okay, it is edging up towards 400 miles. And then the temperature. And our angle has been flopping around. If you watch what I had on the video last night, it was down in the red. So we've moved around a lot. And we'll see that in our world. And there's the sun action. That one shot's old. That one's fresh. And there's the wild action we're getting off. There's our aurora moving around a lot. And as you can see, pretty much whitish. Okay, and we'll move down and see if we've had any. Uh, that's pretty much the same flare that we've had coming off. Uh, there's where your pressure points right now, or the last on that one. As you can see, it's showing our quakes here. It doesn't do a reading thing and so forth when we do that. Uh, we'll move down and see, and we're not getting any images off some of them, so we're probably starting to get some action on satellites. We're getting action on the CMEs out in space. We'll scoot over and see if we got any flare. But I do predict we're going to get a good C or and here's a good shot right here. We got an object up here right right by the sun. You can see it there. Let's get a look at that real fast. That's a real good at the flopper I saw the other day. And it should be able to get the picture to come up here too. And we'll be at 800 right off the bat. And we'll scoot over and look at it. And is it clear on the other thing? We've got another object up there with it then. Or we should be able to go over here and then come down. It still should be there. There it is. So that's not a remnant. That is something up there by the sun. And it's huge. Huge, huge, huge. And there's another something that more than likely, if anybody really wants to say there's a Nibiru, because it's got a node and a node. Node there. Node there. And it's huge too. you got to remember how big that is. It's probably bigger than Jupiter. Or probably pretty close to the same same size as Jupiter as I'm having lovely scroll fun all of a sudden hey big brother how's it going so there we go objects up there by the Sun and basically if you that's where it's at right now and we'll pop down real fast so you realize what we're looking at and that's those objects there you can see that the earthquake big earth and as you can see Sun's going crazy just starting to cross phase